All right, guys. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you uh, <clears throat> how to propagate rosemary. Uh, uh, I got a big old rosemary bush. Um, let me show it to you. There it is there. And it was a lot bigger, but I just cut I just cut 30, 30 cuttings off of it. And I actually have uh, room for 30 more. Uh, but let me let me I just wanted to get started on this little video to show you uh, how how you can uh, reproduce these so you can either give them out or if you start a little home nursery, you could sell them, pick up a little Christmas money every year or whatever. So here I just cut, I got like 30 cuttings, okay? So let me show you, uh, and this is some uh, pine chippings, pine bark chippings. Uh, this, this is a good, uh, it's a good medium for starting things in because it's not uh, thick soil and it's, uh, it, it allows the, um, you know, the roots to be able to, to start growing out. Anyway, you take your cutting. Now this is probably, I don't know, eight inches or so. And these pots, if you can see, so I'm, I'm going to just take, and I want to take off these. Now, I'm saving these because you can use all this on the tree from the, from the plant. This is rosemary. It's a good herb. And there you have it. Now, you could put a, a compound on it. You don't really have to. But you got all these nodes, and they're going to start making uh, making roots. But I'm, I'm going to put four in each one of these. So I stuck it all the way down. And then uh, we, we don't you don't want your soil. I mean, starting off, you gotta you got to dampen your soil. But rosemary is from the Mediterranean, dry climate. And I'm, I'm going to tell you. I had my rosemary growing in a little thing, a little bed in the back. Hardly ever food with it, and it grew great. Hardly ever watered it, so it only got rainwater. Never really got much water from me. Every once in a while, you know, um, and it grew great. So it's not something that you want to water a lot. It, it it seems to prefer drier climate, and that's where it's actually from. From the Mediterranean, drier climate. I'm I'm in uh, Zone Nine, in Louisiana. Uh, we kind of got a dry climate, but we also uh, humid here. And uh, but anyway, look at that. So that's how it looks. I took about half of, and I shove all that down in the, into the dirt. So I'm gonna put. I got 15 containers here. And if I put four in each one, that's 60. So I'm only going to do 30 cuttings right, for t right now with you guys. I might, I might cut some more after. So uh, we'll see how this works. I'll keep an update on it. I'm going to keep it in the greenhouse since it's we uh, in the latter part of the fall we're going to go into uh, winter in about 28 days here we go again take these off That beautiful rosemary smells so good too. And I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna wet all the soil really really well before uh, I leave it. But majority of it's gonna be dry. Uh, now I have to do watch it in the greenhouse. It'll probably get drier than uh, it would sitting outside. 
uh, but I want to start them off in here because and I want to keep them in here because the winter's coming. Now we're supposed to have a mild winter this year, thank God. That'll be good. So these are little. Uh, they're not. They're, they're, they're not one. They're trade size. They call it. It's um, not a gallon container. It's, it's a little bit more than a half a gallon size container. Smells pretty good. I mean, it's not as strong as it would be, you know, when it's warmer. But it does smell good, huh? I really like the way it smells. And I'm going to be taking these that I pick off of here inside. I'm going to let them dry out. Just naturally dry out. I might even let them sit out in the sun today. It's a sunny day today. But I don't think you have to really, you don't have to dry them out. You can eat them like this, I believe. I'm drying it out though. Now this one had another little branch I pulled off so it kind of messed up the bark so this one could get diseased and die I don't know we'll, we'll just see you can see right there where I pulled it off okay there's eight so I got four in here and I'm gonna leave them and in the springtime I'll, I'm gonna uh, separate them and put them in their own containers and I'll probably sell them because I, I have a little home backyard home nursery that I do and uh, and I'll probably you know uh, if this works out pretty good and I sell them good I, I, I'll, uh, I'll do this every year and if I don't sell them I'll... they're easy to give away people take things you give them away. And uh, I'm just, I'm shocked at how uh, easy it grows. And um, how dry um, they really need to be to, to grow, to grow well. See, this one's got, I don't want to have my little cutters here. Cut that off instead of ripping it off so it don't tear. If you look real close, you see uh, the way it grows. It's it's nodes. These grow in these little nodes. They come out on every one of these nodes. So when you I'm doing them in the greenhouse because um, it it'll get warmer in here, and uh, I want it to simulate more of its natural environment. This one's a little smaller, but uh, what the heck. This is actually, I think, one of the branches I pulled off. Okay, I'm going to leave all that together and pull all this off down here.
Some people use a rooting compound. You can do that. But just, I can tell you, man, just from what I've seen, what I, what I did, how I neglected it, and how well it grew, it doesn't need much. And I, I'm in zone 9, so that, that's for me here where I'm at. Might be different where you're at. Okay. Beautiful. I'm going to have quite a bit that I'm going to dry this out so we can use it. Our herbs, part of our herbs. And that's one of my goals for this year. A new year coming up. I want to uh, get more into the herbs too. Get me a nice. There, there was a time I had, I, I was growing a lot of herbs, but, but they were going to waste. We didn't know what to do with them. I wasn't where I am today with all this. And I think that's probably the problem with a lot of people. What do you do? What do you do after? Well, you got to dry them out. Some things you don't you have to, but um, I believe you got to dry them. For the most part, dry out the herbs. So a, a dehydrator would work great, and I had one, but it, I had it sitting out on my porch. And uh, Hurricane Ida got made sure she got got rid of that for me. And I re really wasn't using it. That's why it was hanging out outside. Because I wasn't using it. Alright. Alright guys, that's going to be it for propagating uh, rosemary. Um, let me water her in. Okay guys, that's done.